What's up everyone? John, Pikachu P car. Today I'm over at Chuckles Garage because I wanted to give you guys an update on my Supra ever since SEMA. Now it's crazy to me because my car was one of like six, six pushers. Uh, cars that actually w w weren't running and we had to push it into uh, SEMA and even push them out. Uh, I personally helped push uh, all six cars and help them uh, get loaded. Uh, so it was quite a task. But for some reason, mine is the only car that I, I think that is still getting a lot of shade out there on, on social media, uh, calling me out for not uh, you know, having a working car, which yeah, you know, it does happen because things don't always work out. In our case, like we had parts that showed up late, but also parts that were stolen. And some things needed to be redone and whatever, you know, but it got to the show and it looked great. And uh, I'm not giving up though. So that's why I've been going back and forth at Chuckles Garage and, uh, you know, working hard to get this car, you know, to where it belongs, to, to, to just, not just looking great, but also performing great. So I'm here to give you guys kind of an update at the engine and the, the exhaust uh, and just the entire build. So let's go on, on in to, uh, to Chuckles and then you guys can kind of see like what's been happening to the Supra. So there's my car and look at this amazing engine. <laughs> that the team over at Chuckles, Everett and, and Duke and Scott have been, this all this custom fab work. Look at this ducting, this custom ducting. This is not your normal everyday type of ducting. <laughs> Amazing. So, Ev, tell me what you're you were saying. Like I think uh, the last time we saw you when you visited, we, uh -huh. we just had the radiator and the intercooler in, and we possibly started the ducting to uh -huh. get the air from the bumper directly. Right. We got the sides dialed in, and then we got the top plate made so that way we can scoop all of the air possible into your intercooler and your through your radiator. I have the AC condenser is mounted. It's not in there right now, but I got the tabs mounted to the whole Ooh, for the AC's for the down there, huh? Yeah. Oh, a nice. This is gonna be in there in the V mount. You know, Dude, you want it to work. That is that's that's so cool. We got you, we converted all of your radiator lines to AN20. Okay. So we have 20 dash 20 lines, upper and lower. It's gonna be real short run, so it'll be real efficient cooling. And my sway bars are in. You got your front sway bar in, just so we can double check clearances as everything gets a little bit crowded in here, as you can see. Yeah. Everything is, you know, within a half inch of, every, of literally everything under the car. The fans are close to everything. The core support, the radiators, is tight to the motor as mm -hmm. we can get it. Mm -hmm. We had to cut the lower front cross member because the fans, to get the high enough CFM Yeah, we put in two new fans in there. Right? Yeah, we had to get enough fan in there to support a thousand horsepower. Nice. For a street driven car. So we try to keep that between three and four thousand CFM. And because of the broom we have, we got about 3,200 CFM of cooling right now. Okay. And that should be enough to keep you yeah. keep street drivable, especially with a V-mount. Street travel, yes, and then, you know, on the, the races, I'll just do pull and then cool down, pull and cool down, well, you know, or something. speed, you won't have a problem with cooling it. Speed. Oh, that's right, that's you, right. For, it's, what's going to come into an issue, like, stop if, and you're go. trying to make a lot of horsepower in a mm. short distance, Yeah. and then you're stopping traffic. Yeah, I hate or traffic. Or you're with a crew of cars, and you're blasting down some windy roads, and then you come through Hog Island to get your oysters, and then it <laughs> slow down, and <laughs> look waiting for people across the street. You know? I like Marshall's store. Oh, we go to Marshall's? All right. Yeah. <laughs> So we got enough fan in there. We built the shroud to mount these fans. We want to keep a, you know the proper distance off the core so that way when the fans do kick on, they can pull as much air through the radiator at low speeds. Nice. We had to build a tubular structure here to wrap around the fans. Mm -hmm. And then with being able, having to do that to clear your fans and cooling system, we were able to incorporate the, that tubular cross member into holding your floor. Nice. We're going to put a flat floor through here so that way the fans can be ducted to I the I see the mounts the in the front there. We tab the front of it so we can yeah. have a front pickup because there's no front support after that. Yeah, we need it for the kit. We need it as far forward yeah. as we can to hold the floor in place. We don't want your body kit to do the brunt of the work. Yeah. We want the chassis to hold the under, the under tray. Right. 200 mile per hour passes. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then we got all your charge pipings in. Right now, we're gonna, after I get back on this car on Monday, we're gonna do your blow off valve, work on some plumbing. Now, this is the thing that flexes on all of them because I'm gonna have AC. Gonna keep you cool. Yeah, exactly. Dude, but it is freaking freezing here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my so God. Real. So different from, from Danville. And that, that's the thing with the Bay Area. There's so many microclimates here. Like, you'll get a shift of 20, 30 degrees. Easy. Oh, yeah. Changes, city to city. Changes driving up the freeway. Yes. Sanderfeld and Nevada is a big change. Huge. Engine is on its way. There's the man himself. What's, what's going on over here? Uh, yeah, you tell me. What kind of goodies are we working on here? Well, we got the, uh, we got the front mount intercooler all set up, all welded up and done. That's awesome. We got the V-mount radiator. All set up here. Actually, it's a V mount intercooler. Yes, exactly. Instead of front mount. Exactly. Um, Everett's got all the panels here to keep the uh, air where it's supposed to go. Nice. Um, it's all it's modular. So it's really making that V mount working. Like it's it's fully functional with yeah, this. So you yeah. can't just you can't just stick an intercooler and a radiator in a V configuration and throw it in the front of your car. It just right. won't work because all the the air will go around it. It'll find the the path of least resistance, which will just be around it. Ah, so, so this way it's to, almost like a like a ram. Yeah, so you have to keep it. You have to as soon as the air goes in, you got to keep it. So it has no choice but to go through the fins of the radiator instead of go around it. Oh, dude, that's sick. Yeah, because I I don't think my my FT has a V mount, but I don't think we have. Yeah, this it would work yeah. a thousand times better if you. If, you if I did that. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. That's food for thought. Maybe I have to bring my FD here. It's not even food for thought. You got to do it. It's not yeah. a choice. And then, That's the uh, difference with going with, you know, chuckles like a shop like this, like top tier that, you know, they really think around everything, every solution. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's no like screwing around here. Like, no, you get, you get what you pay for when you go to a shop. Exactly. Like, you, can, you can choose to go to a shop that's, that actually builds race cars and competes. Yes. Or you can, you know, go to your, your whatever run of the mill hot boy shop where they just bolt on stuff and and send it out the door and if it runs it's fine but yep. here it's got to work exactly that's like you know i'm, I'm really glad i'm working with chuckles on I, I i don't know i don't know if anybody else that i would trust with this this is it, it looks amazing dude thanks john i appreciate it. so that. happy and again like i said we're getting ac too yeah uh, ac ac in a in a car like this is is pretty rare so <laughs> i know i know my super has ac yeah and it's like a packaging nightmare to get it to work but I mean, if you're if you're gonna have a, you know, two hundred thousand dollar car, like this is becoming more more than that, but uh... <laughs> air, at least two hundred plus. But you know, not having air conditioning is lame. So you gotta you gotta have AC. Totally, totally, bro. And, and we can also send it. Yep. And uh, yeah, yeah, and, and be, be cool. Doing all your stu to do in, in nice in nice cold. And you're not Are you gonna do that? Stu to do. <laughs> Love it. And. One of the crazy things with this uh, this kit, this Veris kit, is the, the the rear diffuser, which requires a center exhaust. Yeah, so <coughs> so that's what Duke's the working on over Duke here. Duke, right here. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Yeah, Duke is another homie, uh, another talented talented person here at Chuckles, and he's working on fabbing the exhaust. And as you can see, the tips are crazy. Duke loves working with tips. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is a, that's my cue. I'm out. <laughs> There's another plate that keeps all these separated nicely, but it looks Dude. like that coming out the bumper. We're gonna, we're gonna have a crazy tri-tip, super, ooh, so beautiful, polished so nice, coming out of the center exhaust, and we're gonna even give you guys a little preview of what it looks like on there. And here is my fuel cell in there. I'm gonna definitely get looks when I try to fill up like E85 at the gas station. Oh yeah, you don't want to <laughs> spill any on the carpet because this this sits flush with the carpet. And oh. we'll, we'll do a reveal so you can just see the fuel pumps and the fuel fill in the center there. Okay, uh -oh. so I'm gonna have to get a funnel or something. Yeah, huh? you'll, you'll be pulling yeah. around with a big funnel. So you can <laughs> spill it everywhere. And you see uh, peep my uh, Titan Motorsports roll cage or roll bars. I love these ones because they look weird as hell, but <laughs> but these actually allow you to keep your rear uh, seats because it goes up and over. So I really, you know, it's a tight fit, but I could really use those back seats if I wanted to. <laughs> Holy. That is going to look, 
I, it, it's already on there. It looks crazy. Holy moly. Like I always said, I love to modify the modifications, and this is definitely... <laughs> Four-inch equivalent oval. A oval exhaust? Yeah. Is the, the exhaust uh, tips. But then the center one, the one in the middle, is my um, external wastegate dump. It's, yeah. my, it's my screamer pipe. Yep. So <laughs> that is going to sound crazy coming out the back. This is gonna shoot some flames. Oh yeah, that's the whole goal. Yeah. Sand this so it's just in like a nice, perfect single plane and it follows the angle of the... Uh, yeah, the, the angle's pretty good already how it follows, but wow, and I like how it, it protrudes a little bit there just well, yeah, to, just to wanna... keep it, the bumper safe from the flames. Yeah, we don't wanna let the bumper and, on fire. And the heat, yeah, I know. Okay, this is super cool. Let me give you guys a vantage point from underneath the car. You can see this cutout is where the fuel cell is going to be. Finish up the exhaust here, locking it up four inch exhaust all the way through. And my exhaust has, you see this pipe here that's supported right next to it. That's my external wastegate. Yeah, I know, crazy. <laughs> I'm going to have the external wastegate coming through here. This pipe is going to be snaked through here, connected all the way through there and come up on top and come out through there on that top circle, circle, on top of the two ovals, which are my normal exhaust. So I'll be driving and shooting flames <laughs> all along the way. And it's gonna sound so crazy. Lots of custom work here, as you can see. From, like I said, the fuel cell to this guided supported external wastegate screamer pipe to the four inch exhaust with the oval tips. And it's a center exhaust. Remember, this is for MK4 Supra. How many center exhaust Supras have you seen? Like, this is gonna look super sick when it's all done because like this will all be mirror polished. The tubes will be mirror polished. Yeah. I may polish the turbo. I'm not really feeling it though because I hate polishing turbos. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Um, oh. What this about, will be all powder coated. What about Sarah coating it or something like that? You ever, I mean, you could, or, or you can just leave it. I mean, I the, like it looking the clean. The finish looks good. I like that because it looks, I yeah. mean, it looks sick. <laughs> yeah, and then like, you know, we got rid of all the ugly stock brackets and we put like the PHR billet stuff on it. Nice. We got from Rad Industries. Nice. And then this will have a, like a PTP turbo blanket on it. Yep. So it'll look trick. Nice. And then this will be all wrapped. Did you see how trick the downpipe is? It's like four inch right out of the turbo. Jesus. It just swoops out nice and clean. Those tips, we were just looking at it uh, in the back, that, that looks crazy. Yeah, the tips, so the tips is like, it's one of those things we could we could do like, we could be lame and put like dual round tips out of it, yeah. dual oval tips or something lame like that. But on your car, we're gonna go one step further. Sheesh. Like you talked about flexing, but Sheesh. instead of having a single, you're gonna have a single four inch that goes back and splits off into dual four inch ovals. Mm -hmm. And then it's gonna come out, you know, you saw how it comes Yeah. Out. But then the screamer pipe isn't just gonna dump under the car, it's gonna go all the way back to the car and then come out the back. Dude, so, so, but they're gonna, it, the sound's gonna be not all the same time, right? It's gonna be like different, it's gonna sound. So the screamer pipe comes on when you, when your turbo has reached uh, more boost than you than your target. It's over a certain RPM range, right? It starts no, kind of so open up. Say, no. Let's say your target boost is 40 psi. Yeah. And then you're making 42. Well, the the wastegate's going to open up and let that two psi out. The got it. Pipe. Got it. We're, we're aiming for like 40 something, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I think. Uh, what did we do on my land speed truck? 42 psi. Okay. With the bigger turbines, I know you told me. <laughs> so your which turbo? That's a G. Yeah, forty two, okay. right? So you, you've got a G forty two fourteen fifty, and that's a G forty five fifteen hundred. Yeah. Yep. So the difference is the turbos are the same size. Yes. But yours has a smaller turbine housing. Got which, it. Which will actually spool quite a bit faster than mine. Well, yeah, because I still capable of four. It's only 50, 50 horsepower less than that one. Oh really? Yeah, it's a fifteen hundred. This is a fifty. Oh Jesus. So this Jesus. is you give. You know, turbos are give and take. So yeah. if you want that extra spool, you gotta give up that 50. Yeah, miles. correct, correct, correct. So that's the smaller turbine. 
and with all the Mandalorian Beskar right? you can find. <laughs> this it's thing is all... Have, it's too bad I don't have my Mando set. This is the way. Vibranium here. What's vibranium? Is that some DC comic? No, Marvel, bro. Oh, Marvel. Come on, man. <laughs> Black Panther, bro. I'm a Star Wars nerd. I'm not like it. the old video options where they point in the engine. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, my my friend oh, Phil yeah. has a, a little like, pointer too. A like, turbo the size of a hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the turbo the size of a hand here. That's sick. It's like billet locking uh, we're gonna, radiator cap. We're gonna polish this. Too. Yep. <laughs> With this build, this undertaking, uh, that is just, you have to, not only, they don't have any parts available, like for instance, the, the cooling. This is all like, you have to engineer it, design it, fab it, make sure it's functioning. And they're trying to build me something that is streetable. Like I can drive in traffic with this crazy thing, but I can also send it and go like over 200 miles per hour in like a half mile pass. Am I, you know, happy with it? Hell yes. You better be happy. Hell yes, I said. You better be happy. <laughs> this is amazing. This is one of those builds that's, oh my God, there's so much stories, or there is a story, a really cool story behind it. <laughs> Frustrations, yes, of course, but Looking at how it's turning out, it's so worth it. Everything, so many details, from these seats, to this HGT shifter, to the steering wheel, to the kit, to the wheels. Every single thing has been custom designed, bespoke. There's so many one of one things on this car. To the big brake kit to, I said like, the, the uh, fuel system, the fuel cell, to the roll bar, to the crazy diffuser, to the crazy center exhaust, to the, <laughs> the uh, crazy uh, staff here. <laughs> been quite a journey and hopefully in the next three to four weeks we're gonna try to get this thing what was the term you called it first fire yeah yeah hopefully make first fire wired and fired baby <laughs> wired, and fired. <laughs> wired and fired that's right i love it yeah. let's make t-shirts right now so a special treat we're gonna check out some of the chuckle sauce on another project that they've already been working on. Uh, they're gonna do some dinos today, but let's check out the cold start on this uh, crazy Mustang build. This thing's pushing about a thousand wheel. Look at that wing. Sheesh. Hey, not too bad. Like it's, it's, it's a, uh, oh, it's, oh no, I was saying like, uh, it's, it's not too loud of a cold start. It is not E85, so it takes a couple usually. Nice. Kind of have to warm up the fuel. So this is under the hood for this 1,032 wheel horsepower five, uh, Mustang. Still 5.0, five, five oh, right? Still 5.0, five, five liter. Yeah. yeah, displacement. And uh, turbo. 
Yep, twin turbo. Twin turbo. Uh, I think they're G GT or GX 3582s. Okay. Something like that. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, the uh, this guy just, uh, he tracks it, right? Circuit. Uh, Circuit? I think he's more after like the, the airstrip attack stuff. Oh, okay. Like high okay. Speed stuff. So this is like a shift sector car. Yeah. I think yeah, essentially. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. I'll probably see him there because mine's kind of what, that's what I would plan on doing with the Supra. Yeah. Too. I'll have to see him at some events. Yeah. That's cool. It's got a radium fuel system. Yep. Injector dynamics. Injectors. Surge tank on this. It's got a surge tank. Yep. We're still using a factory fuel tank in the in the car. Uh huh. And then a giant bell intercooler hidden up front here. It's kind of real hard to see. Wide body is this? Uh, Pandem or? No, it's a Shirakai. Shirakai. Like okay. Um, I think it's. There aren't too many of them. I don't think they're being produced. Anymore. That's what I mean. Uh, I was like. The guy who produced them was in Russia. Oh. Leave before the Ukrainian stuff started taking over. Oh yeah. And lost uh, shop space or something like that. I don't know. This, I don't know the exact. So story. It might be done. This white body. I might come back. Who knows? You know? Yeah. When you like what you do. Figure yeah. It out. You guys make the exhaust here too. Yes, we did the full system. So we did all the charge piping. It's rear mount turbos. Rear mount turbos. Oh. You can see the piping. Oh the turbo wow, system. dude, this is crazy. That is so sick. It's all stainless and aluminum, and the mufflers are titan vibrant titanium mufflers. All the Moton too. those snails there. Yep. It shoots flames. <laughs> it does. Yeah. <laughs> Flash shifting on the dyno definitely shoots fire. Sick. It's got big gears in the transmission, the real wide ratio and did you do small. those? You did the transmission here it's too? It's got a 6XD in it we put in as well. Oh. With a twin clutch, twin disc clutch and Mos I think it's a curry, curry built nine inch, the fabricated nine inch tall gears. So we're gonna do I think it does about 140, 150 and third. Oh, it's nice. Six speed, I think it's, I believe it's a double overdrive. Fourth gear is still one to one. Wow. So pretty tall rear end ratio. Oh yeah. He's trying to do the 200 mile an hour thing. Today is the no power tuning. <laughs> so they got the van on here and they keep records of like different power records set. So you can see different customers and their power. Yeah, look at Jason there, 1,025, huh? Dang, bro. Yeah, I think, where was he? He was, he was second? In shift sector, right? Oh, no, we got a, oh, yeah. So we, the E30 no was top of the list for a long time. Yep. And then Scott's mini truck just took the top of the list. And then the and Ford gonna, out there is now gonna squeak right between Jason and the E30. But my Supra is gonna take all these out. Yeah, it's somewhere in this area is where the Supra is gonna be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at him. Look, I knew it. <laughs> you know, I knew chance, that was bro. gonna get under his skin. I knew it. <laughs> nope. if, you're at like, if you're at like 1301, I'm gonna be like, nope, gotta stop there. I don't wanna bolt. Oh, dude, right. this guy. Other people doing YouTube will show you dyno tuning on like cars like, I don't know, Lambos, Huracons, and uh, Supras or really fast cars. I'm showing you dyno tuning on a van, so I'm gonna get extra views for that, right? <laughs> 63. Special treat now is a LS Swap 4Runner that's going next on the dyno. Smell it. <laughs> I mean, it made like two 
360 here. Torque. Torque. Oh, that's torque? Where's no, the yeah. power? So where's it at? Well, it did so yeah. His rig needs to be tuned still. Yeah. So like it's it's, it's all over the place. Didn't even want to take it, but it made like 160 horsepower. 160. I said 180 in the first one. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm fully committed to this build. Like it's taken a lot longer and it's cost way more. I'll probably be into this car about three hundred thousand dollars when it's all said and done. Uh, but again, I am fully committed to it, and uh, you can see why. It's taking so long. It's a piece of art. It's a, it's a race car that you can also drive on the street reliably. And uh, I mean, it's, it's sick, you know. Everything is gonna function and it's, it's gonna look beautiful, sound beautiful, perform beautiful. It's everything there. So, you know, all the haters can hate, but I'm gonna have the sickest car around. And that's it, you know, period.